What is going on, everybody? It's Armstrong. Back in for another episode of Squad Battles to Glory, episode three. As you can see, record thirty and one. We are gonna get gold one in Squad Battles. Uh, it's actually just as Squad Battle Rewards are about to come out. But before that, we're gonna go through the teams first. Obviously, you're not seeing anything from this week. Um, that is because I really I had one pack, a seven point five k pack that I opened, and it was so bad I just didn't feel like like starting the video there. It felt weird to start the video with a bad seven point five k pack, and then there was no other objectives that I complete to get any other packs. So gonna run through the teams here here's the bonus league team probably my second <gasps> favorite team with the prem team being number one but here's the bonus league team as you can see it's not like the best players are in it right now but because we're getting to the point where we have like eight uh eight to ten bench players that are gold we're rotating so anytime someone like if i were to play a game right now 89 I'm gonna take take this left back off for men obviously so that's kind of how we've been running it if someone gets tired we just rotate them in that's how we're doing it instead of using fitness or instead of putting like the Prem team on the bench of the Bundesliga team. If we get like 11 really good players, we might run to just like um, the bench of the, each team is going to be like another team. Like so Bundesliga would be the bench of the Prem and so on and so forth. But here we go. We're going to run into the Prem team. As you can see, we kind of just stick with the main five leagues now. We do have a lot of Brazilians. I know that. I've just recently packed a lot of Brazilians. So might make a Brazilian team. As you can see, again, a lot of rotation here. But here's your Prem team. Um, we'll run through the stats before we open the packs as well. But yeah, so you can see there's Prem. Standout maybe. Throne is pretty good. Jollington's pretty good, but realistically, Gilfie's the highest rated. Obviously, as we got last episode. Ooh, always back out here. I used to, if you guys remember from last year, obviously, the <coughs> squad screen was used to be back there. It's been frustrating because you have to go into the squad and then go to here. Just that extra step that's a little bit more frustrating. Um, so, yeah, we've gone through Germany. Prem. Germany Goats is probably the best player. Uh, really struggling in the attack, but defense is just fine. I mean, defense against AI squad battles on even world class, pretty easy. Here's the uh, Spain team. As you can see, we actually are starting to build up a bench here. We're missing a goalie for the longest time. He was actually in the gold, the 7.5k pack that I didn't show you guys. It was actually him. So you can see I played one game with him since I've uh, opened it, up, which is actually perfect because we had uh, Kiko Casilla from uh, Leeds. And we obviously, of course, in a full La Liga team, the no Spanish um, center backs so we couldn't actually fit, see it in he was just there on basically four cam or three cam whatever it was. but now we have a full team there i actually like the sergio leon card i haven't noticed baka as much baka's much further down than he or he used to be like an a2 he used to be pretty good alar mendy obviously high rated here trippy a decent stats for squad battles and mandy's obviously like a kind of cheap meta player in a way uh, obviously some players on the bench we can bring in hazard vinicius if we want to if we want to do like a winger formation we might be able to bring those guys in might do that for next week just to use the loans up obviously the loans aren't as important here as they are to some people who maybe are playing like weekend league and so on uh the french team la liga team or la liga liga team you can see again another situation where we have a french goalie but not one from the league but uh the lord's not horrible obviously Verratti and awar are good of of course, we have a decent winger. I've actually enjoyed Gradle. I haven't really noticed this guy, Dosevi, a lot. But we actually have Akone, who I want to bring in. But he's, act he's I mean, Awar and Verratti are just better. So maybe we run... <sighs> might be running another 4-3-3 here. And putting Awar and Verratti as center mids. Like a 4-3-3-4 Akone in here. Because this guy is awful. Char Bonnie, Char Charbonnier? He's, he's very bad. I do not enjoy him. Obviously, his stats are going to be decent. Because, again, we're not playing against the highest quality of opponents. But I really don't enjoy him. Uh, so last team here, yeah, we've gone through all of them, is just Italy, as you can see, it's the furthest team away from, uh, hopefully we can get, I mean, we obviously have, we actually have a lot of players, obviously, different league, different league, we could bring in Del Piero at some point, and then different league, but we just need a goalie and a center back to actually complete the team, and it's not a bad team, obviously, one player out of position, uh, regular Pagliatano, too bad we can't get Pagliatano on this account, that'd be perfect, um, but yeah, so we're just missing a center back here, we got Chris Smalling, uh, and yeah, some decent players. I mean, I'm excited to use Cliver. I don't think I've, have I used this? No, see, I haven't even used this team at all, obviously, because we're missing some players. So hopefully we do have packs here, but before that, one, one more thing. Let's just look at the player stats as we did last week. See who's kind of like leading the score. Obviously the stats are going to be inflated, but I think it's still kind of important to look at because it at least shows you, um kind of who's doing well on each team because if all the stats are inflated obviously whoever has the best stats is still like the best player so as you can see the highest rated players are obviously all loans and then we get your 83s here so let's just go to games uh goals joe ellington look at joe ellington 17 goals 16 assists as you can tell the prem team is my favorite team uh and that's joe ellington is kind of like the best attacker on that team uh, obviously saint maxim's good but he's on no chem 
So we have Jones in 17 and 16, 13 games played. Go Goats is actually, like I said, the best player in the German team. Uh, 13 goals in nine games. Jack Corks actually wasn't bad at Cam. I was using at Cam, that's why his stats are decent. Lewis still up here, even though he was on loan. It just shows you how good like uh, a higher rated player against squad battles can be. Uh, Sigerson just came in as, as seven goals from Cam. I mean, that's decent. Modest. Uh, St. Maxim, obviously, like I said. Delore, McTominay. Most assists. Jolington, Cork, Modest. Uh, on Onisowo, Onisowo. Uh, just brought him in, but he's yeah, he's been the assist man clearly. Uh, Nabi Keita's not bad. He's actually he's been good for me uh, as another center mid in that prem team. I need another one with him though. No red cards, I don't think. And yeah, so it is now past um, time for packs. Obviously, I'm doing this right as the packs came out, so that's why I was kind of waiting and showing the squad anyways. But it's been it, we haven't really shown the squad since the beginning, so I want to show you how they're kind of developing. You can see who I've packed and kind of guess. But here we are, gold one. I was going to push for elite, and I decided not to today. Um, just didn't feel like it. We do have 14k coins. I kind of want to save them, because you'll see if we go to, um, because of Road to the Final and kind of a, a promo, we'll call it a promotion, there's 25k packs out there. But I think I'll probably just open up a 7.5k pack here. Let's see. We'll start off with their actual regular rewards. See how good those are and see if we actually want to open the 7.5k pack here. But we're, again, we're looking for center back and goalie from Syria and then just any depth on any of the squads here. It's just going to be a regular rare goal player. We'll let it run out because we don't have too many packs. Goalkeeper. Ah, oh, so oh, that's actually good because we, obviously we just packed our first La Liga goalie. And Asenjo is much better. Um, the one we have, MLS. Well, look at this. We just This keeps, this keeps being the exact same... <laughs> Uh, thing that we've had over and over again if you've watched the series at all like the packs it's like that's actually not a bad player for like a squad battle team but look at their look at their leagues you got league and which we could actually i think we're getting close to league and team uh mls saudi league and russia like they're just not major leagues so it's been really frustrating of course we get a duplicate uh we'll just list him see if he sells them if not i'll just quick sell them and then we'll obviously have more coins because we can use the coins here premium gold players <clears throat> See if we can get anything, like I said. I, I don't even care if we get, like, really, really solid. Is that a board? Or is that just regular? Oh, was just regular. I couldn't tell. Anytime they... Ooh, regular Vinicius Jr. That's actually a really good pull on this account. Obviously, we have his loan for a bunch of games, so we'll probably use his loan first just to use it up. But, uh... Ooh, some more people coming in for... I actually like this card a lot for, um... Bundesliga in terms of... I, I used him right at the start on my like main account, and he was he was actually really solid. So it, thinking ahead to like squad battles, he could be good. Santi Mina could come in instead of Baca, who I've enjoyed. That is a goalkeeper for the French team. That's actually good because we didn't have a full French one again. We have Air Divisie, Mexico, uh, Liga Nos again, so we're getting close there. Uh, I said Air Divisie Pro League, and then another depth striker for the uh, Prem, and then oh, that's actually good. A Prem center back. We needed another one, so that's actually decent there. We'll just quick sell. El Amadi. But yeah, that's actually going to be good for the Prem team. And then finally, Prime Mixed Players Pack. Oh, uh, not... A, I, the Flares get me every time, because I'm used to... Obviously, last FIFA where Flares matter, or two FIFAs go. Ooh, a, oh, he... I feel like he used to be fast, did he? Maybe not. But a left back for the um, La Liga team. And another La Liga 82 overall goalie. Just not what we need to see. Air Divisi and then Fenerbahce is obviously from Turkey. And nothing here because they're bronzes. So, oh my god, this guy's still in the game. Last year, I remember saying he looked super old. <gasps> and he's still here, still kicking around. Could be good, maybe bronze, silver, for SBCs. I'll, uh, that's, I'm not really trying to do too many SBCs. That was going to be one my one question of the episode is, would you like to see me do more SBCs? Um, like I said, we have the potential to do more. Just because we have a lot of extra players. Like I said, we just, we've been getting so many Air Divisi players, Liga Nos players, uh... The Mexican League players, like, we have a lot of leagues we're not using in terms of squad, so we could just use those in, in maybe the actual team, uh, for SBCs to improve the team. But here we go, 7.5k pack. And, uh, oh, you know what, a right wing, Mart Odegaard, has he got 5-star skills still? Or do they take those away from him? He does have the 5-star skills, so that'll be fun to use. A right back, that's actually a really solid right back for the, uh, La, La Liga team, and then another center back for Liga. And you know what we didn't get is anybody for the Serie A team. I'm going to quickly see if I can build the Liga Nos team, and I'll be right back, and that'll be the end of the episode. So here's the Liga Nos team. As you can see, like I said, we had a lot of players. I knew we had Rafa, and then we obviously got this right back 
today and then uh we had source who's actually not a bad player he's got the high high work rates but he's got some decent stats this guy's not great paulinho uh we do have serve Servi off the bench here that could come in for rafa as well we'll look to i probably won't use this team too much but i might use them every once in a while um but we obviously need to look to fill the bench here because of it we're missing a left back and then we have no real depth in terms of substitution except for one center back in the left mid so we are close there but if you guys did enjoy smash the like button Appreciate you for the support in the series. Like I said, maybe start doing SBCs to, to kind of freshen up the content here. Because, again, midweek, it's not much to show you unless I show you games. We did just get a new season, so we will be ripping through that. So hopefully get a lot of SBC, uh, a lot of objectives related to uh, squad battles content. And then obviously we can progress the season progress. As you see, there's a pack coming up. And then we just have, like, obviously all the rest of it coming up. So hopefully we can get some more content there for this. So let me know how you guys enjoyed the uh, series in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we'll see you next time.